you're all doing wonderful. Today I thought I would film just an off the cuff, you know, video. Sitting here and talking to you about movies. Oh, it's so hot in here. The summer is definitely kicking in and I don't know, I don't know what is the weather like where you are, but here it's definitely really hot and thank god for whoever created air conditioning because it's really helping otherwise i don't know what we would do <laughs> anyways today i thought we'd talk a little bit about movies since i wanted to film more of an off the cuff you know easygoing rainbow asmr video so, you know that I love films, I love watching movies and also I think watching movies before sleep is good well it depends on what kind of movie but if it's a really good movie then it gives you a sense of satisfaction, you know so I thought I would tell you about a few films that are more like a historic drama, action, romance, mix and tell you about some of my favorites I want to start this video with one of my all-time favorite movies it's such a great film that I kind of am jealous of you if you haven't seen it because you're going to have such amazing experience watching it although this is one of those films that one can watch many times so it doesn't uh, matter if you've seen it or not you will still enjoy re-watching it because you know there are some films you watch it for one time and then you kind of don't want to watch it this is not one of them and yet if you're going to watch it for the first time oh my god i am jealous it's a fantastic film and the film is Trumpets The Emperor and the Assassin also known as The First Emperor it's based on true events in fact it tells the story of the first emperor of the United, newly united China because before China was divided into different little like kingdoms and this emperor kind of united all of China and the assassin the man who was hired by the other king to kill this emperor and they both love the same woman I love this film it tells the story of this emperor and how he became an emperor where he's coming from how to be an emperor of such a big country and especially newly established as a union requires so much strength but also um, there's a lot of cruelty he's a very cruel emperor as well and there are moments in this movie where I just I, I mean I can't I hate those moments in this film because they're just too cruel but at the same time watching this film you understand how things were at the time how people thought and acted at the time what it cost for them to be free what it cost for them to be powerful there are a lot of revelations during this film that is a lot of psychology in this film although it's on another hand almost like an action film too but it's not a silly 
action and in fact if you have seen the film Gladiator and you liked it this one is actually even better so I've seen Gladiator and I loved it that movie. In fact, the second movie that I would like to include in this list is Gladiator. However, of course, my um, my opinion about Russell Crowe has changed greatly after he did his first film where he's the director. I don't remember the name of that movie, but that is a movie telling uh, a story that is happening during World War One, where the hero travels to Turkey and during World War One is when Armenian Genocide happened in 1915 by the Young Turks and in, there's nothing telling about the Armenian Genocide at all it is as if um, someone shot a movie about World War II and the hero went to Germany and the movie portrayed the Nazi Germans as super friendly and kind people and there was not a single word about uh, about Holocaust about what the Nazi did to, to the Jews and yeah, uh, or Hitler, you know so in his film he just like Hitler is a cool guy you know like the young Turks were cool guys so I'm super disappointed in him I don't know how much he got paid probably a lot of money but still I think dignity and honesty shouldn't be for sale so yeah but anyways <laughs> the movie Gladiator is actually a good movie and uh, that's especially sad that people talented can be bought um, but yeah, my second choice of film because I don't want to be biased is the movie Gladiator so this movie I think you have seen uh, most of you have seen I think if you haven't seen it definitely watch it it's a really really good movie if I had to choose between the two, I would say that I prefer The Emperor and The Assassin. I don't know. You will have to watch it for yourself to see which one you like most, but say The Emperor and The Assassin is just one of my all-time favorites. But Gladiator is also amazing, amazing. And here you have a story of love, betrayal, extreme cruelty, and loyalty as well. In both films, the casting is amazing. Sometimes the movie is great, the concept is great, but the casting isn't that great. In both movies, it's done so well. And in Gladiator, I especially love Joaquin. Phoenix. I think he's so amazing. So amazing. And so believable. He gives you the chills, you know? In The Emperor and the Assassin, and the, Assassin the Emperor gives you the chills because he is so calm in his demeanor. But then he seems so calm and nice and then he can like freak out and do something extremely cruel that he thinks is a necessity the evil character in Gladiator is completely the opposite to the emperor the Chinese emperor very different the Chinese emperor is very smart He's very, very smart, he's very wise, he's cruel. Joaquin Phoenix's emperor, who's Roman, is um, basically crazy, actually. He's, he definitely um, 
isn't very healthy, is like a bit crazy, a bit mental and the actor was able to pass that through so well and I know that while they were shooting that movie there is a particular scene where he shouts at his sister who he has a crush on that was completely improvised that was not in the scenario in the script and the fear that you see in the movie in this woman's eyes because her brother might kill her and her son it's real like she really got scared so both of these movies are definitely worth watching and I'm guessing that a lot of you will have sat, seen The Gladiator and maybe haven't seen The Emperor and The Assassin and I definitely, definitely recommend you to watch The Emperor and The Assassin and if you haven't seen The Gladiator, definitely watch The Gladiator too. I want to finish this video with the most expensive <laughs> Chinese film of all times. It's again a history drama with my favorite Gun Li again. I watched this movie just recently and it's called The Curse of the Golden Flower. The movie is shot beautifully. I mean, it is um, visible in this movie that it was one of the most I don't know how about now, but at the time of making this movie, it was the most expensive Chinese movie ever. The costumes, the decorations, everything is up to scratch. This tells a different kind of story, but again, it's love, betrayal, and of course, of course, violence. I almost feel that where there is power, there's always some violence involved and especially like now at least people can say, well, this is my human right and go to courts, etc. At the time, they couldn't really do it. Now, The Curse of the Golden Flower tells a very intriguing and interesting story of the Chinese emperor was very powerful, who was absolutely in love with his first wife. He loved her, he adored her, and he destroyed her. Now he has another wife, the Empress. She's beautiful, she's given him a son, but I don't want to give away any spoilers. But she is being poisoned. She's being poisoned little by little, day by day. And she has a poisonous plan on her mind. This dangerous plan may save her or may destroy her. This is East. People here are different. Their view of life is different. They love differently. They kill differently and they betray differently. It is the complex story between the two sons of the Emperor, the one from his ex-wife the one from his new wife, the relationship between his wife and him, and their past. The end of this movie is also quite piercing and just it's the harsh reality. It's the harsh reality and it is what unfortunately Life is, a lot of the times, as much as we want it to be, different. In fact, all the three movies that I talked about today are kind
kind of based on real events some of those events because things happened so far back in the time um, may have been, you know, changed obviously but the overall aura is similar and the overall feeling of that time and that period is there, is definitely present so I hope that you will watch these movies if you haven't seen them when you watch them let me know what you thought especially I'm interested in your opinion in one of my all-time favorite movies The Emperor and The Assassin and also recommend me movies to watch of this genre because I'll be away for a few days and I can watch some movies, you know so definitely give me your recommendations so love you guys so much see you very soon I hope that you like this off the cuff so please spoken videos that I make I know some of you do um, I really enjoy this too because I feel like we again communicate in a different kind of way in these videos so waiting for your comments in the comment section if you've seen this movie let me know your opinion and we'll meet very soon bye bye